Hi, this is Mark Reed and I'm here with Eurosport Design. We're here at the 2011 Interbike Trade Show in Las Vegas. And I want to take a minute to show you some great new shoes from Giro. Last year we introduced the Giro shoes. We had seven models, road and mountain. They were all above $200. Fantastic shoes. They sold really well. People liked them. And people wanted more. They wanted lower cost shoes so that a bigger range could get into them. Um, so Giro went back to the drawing board and came up with over 14 new models. So now we have in excess of 20 models of shoes available to the consumer, all the way from $99 to over $300. So full range of shoes, road, mountain, men's and women's. One of the key shoes for next year and one of the bright stars in the line is this shoe. It's called the Apex and it is a $149 road shoe that features two buckles and a strap. Um, if you look on the bottom here, you'll see a DuPont Zytel sole, and this sole was engineered by um, our friends at Easton, who are a sister company to ours, and the goal was to make this nearly as stiff and nearly as light as the carbon fiber version, which is on the more expensive shoe, but um, to keep the price reasonable. So that's how we're able to keep the price point at 149 Like all our more expensive shoes, the Apex is built around this Giro Superfit Last, so the fit is designed to be really comfortable yet aggressive enough that it will still hold your feet in place when you're riding hard. Um, some of the other features of this include the Giro Superfit, Superfit footbed, which um, this one and this shoe is not adjustable, but we do have an adjustable version, which it comes with our more expensive shoes. And that features a, an adjustable instep or arch for more support. So if you have a higher arch, you can use an insole with more support, like this red one. It snaps right in there. It's a modular system. If you happen to have a discrepancy from left to right, you can use different versions from either side. So those sell for $50. They fit into any Giro cycling shoe, and I would say pretty much any other type of cycling shoe. Not that you'd want to wear any other kind of cycling shoe, but um, that's the Apex. It also comes in a high volume version for people who have slightly larger feet or a little more girth to their feet in the forefoot or a little bit more volume right here. Um, the Apex comes in HV that can accommodate that. So for 2012, Giro's gonna have 12 women's shoes. So it's full offering road and mountain um, and tri. We have 12 different shoes. The leading shoe on the road side is a shoe called the Factress. And the Factress was kind of built around the same idea of the men's Factor shoe. It features an EC90 carbon sole. And this was designed by the team at Easton, who are a sister company to us. It's designed to be super thin so that your foot is sitting as close to the spindle of the pedal as possible, yet still be really stiff. So the Easton engineers spent a lot of time researching and developing this product um, to do that. So the Giro Factress is built around Giro's Superfit um, Blast. So it's going to fit great. It'll hold your foot secure, but give you enough room so that on long, hot days you're still comfortable. It's a $290 shoe and it's going to be available this spring at retailers.